Hi everybody, this is Sherry and I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on. Um, Crafty Irina had sent me a rack and in that rack she had sent some clothes, um, decorated clothespins or altered clothespins. I don't know how you want to put that. <laughs> and, um, and I absolutely just thought they were so pretty and so much fun. And I had two very kind ladies send me this size clothespin because the only size I could find were these little teeny weeny ones. <laughs> See how small? Or um, the regular size. So I had mentioned that I couldn't find them. And so two very sweet ladies sent me um, two uh, bunches of them. And so I wanted to show you the first um, ones that I did. Now I just stained these with Tim Holtz Walnut Stain. And let me make sure you don't try not to get a glare there. This one I plan on sending um, a very sweet friend. Um, there's something on my camera. There we go. And it says, once upon a time, you stole my heart. And uh, so this is for... Um, a very sweet friend of mine who lives in Japan and if she watches this video she'll know it's for her and she'll know why but I love this one I am a major major Eeyore fan so I made this one it says I made this just for you all by myself and of course I've got Eeyore in there and then it just you know opens up there and I have another one it said your friendship is the best kind of surprise and so of course I love that and I have a Disney um, program that I bought with my very very first computer and um, so these are some of the things that I made with this one and this one has Tigger and it says when I met you I knew an adventure was about to happen and so there's there's Tigger and then here's Piglet and of course I have all of the Disney characters. I have the Disney princesses and things like that on this program. There were two of them. The one had, this one has um, all of the Disney princesses and stuff like that on it. And then this one is just like the Winnie the Pooh characters. And it says, I may be very small, I may be a very small animal, but I'm your very big fan. And so that's that one. And again, just, um, did Tim Holtz vintage photo on them and that's it those ones were all done and they were so fun and so easy to do and I like I painted the other ones but I honestly think I really like the vintage photo it just makes them look old and I don't know even though these the silver bottle caps hardly look old but you know I really like the way they look so there's those ones that I made now this one I made and this is a big one let me back up here um, I lined it or I painted it and then I lined it with white or black glitter paper that is from I think it's called limited edition stack uh, is the name of the company it's not the name of the paper stack and I used one of the cameos that Tammy sent me who is SS crafter one and it just opens up and I just I thought it was pretty. I mean, I have other ones, but I wouldn't want to use them all on these, but it was really pretty and elegant, and I thought, you know, for something fancy, maybe in the future, I would use this on it to close it up, something really special. So I did that one, and then I did this one, which is just one of the small ones, and this is Prima Paper. It's, the, I believe, the Meadowlark collection and I inked around the sides with uh, Victorian velvet and then put the cameo on that one which also came from Tammy I sent her the money when these came out and she bought me some and I just cut the um, the little loop off and ground and sanded it down so it wouldn't be sharp and there it is and it's done on the front and the back so I did that one and then I, think I had another one like that. Oh, I do. Here it is. And this one, um, I can't remember the name of the paper stack from this one. 
but I just uh, painted it white, cut the paper to fit, and glued it on, and then inked this one with sponge sugar from Tim Holtz, and then put the cameo on that one. So those are the three that I have with the cameo, and uh, I really like those. I This one is it's just, to me, is so elegant looking. It would be something really special. But I think these ones, you know, if you emboss the bag and put a, put a pretty brocade or fleur-de-lis um, um, embossing folder, you something like that, that you could easily use these just to kind of add to it. This one would overtake, you know, most things. So I did those ones. Then I did this one. And this is um, first edition paper as well. I'm going to try to bring it up here so you can see. It's got little pink owls on it and I was given this owl um, during my birthday challenge and it was silver so I took one of my uh, alcohol markers and I just went over it with the alcohol marker with the broad um, the broad tip part of the marker and colored it pink so that it would match and I I don't know if I picked too bright of a pink or if it was because it went up against the silver but it came out really bright pink and then of course there's the little owls and there's owls on the back as well so I did that one then I just did this one and this is another of that limited edition paper and it's black with the cream and it has the hearts and then I had this embellishment and I just put that glued that on there to go with that and they all and I, I had to be careful because I almost glued a couple of them closed but they pop back open um, this I did these two and this is a I want to say from Prima but I can't remember but I do know that these embellishments were from Bow Bunny and I, why they were a Bow Bunny embellishment set there was no butterflies in the set that they were supposed to go with so I've had them for a long time and I just chose the greens and there's little bits of blues in them and I'll bring them up here this one says beauty and then this one just has the butterflies and it's got the greens and then the beauties in blue and there's blue in the background of this one so I did those and put them together and again they just like that I love them I just had so much fun and Irene at Crafty Irena makes I mean she's just the she makes great projects but this lady, when she packages up her stuff, I mean, the package itself is just like this stunning gift that you don't want to open because it's so beautiful. And um, so that's where I got my inspiration for these. Now I have a few more to show you. And I have been, I don't want to say hoarding because I, I pretty much use everything that I have but I knew that I wanted to use these little flowers for something special and I just didn't know what I wanted to use them for and I'll bring you down here a little bit and um, these were given to me from Anna Yanos a long time ago and I just they've got these beautiful and I mean look at the dimension on the flower so, I mean, this is going to be something you have to pack and kind of be careful when you send. But And I put some real pretty uh, blue paper that matched the um, ribbon. And then it just I just glued that on. But it's just, they're so elegant. And this one, I actually tried to um, use my Tim Holtz, one of my Tim Holtz ink colors on it. And the ink didn't want to go into the wood. It beat it up. So I wiped it off. And then when I went to paint it, it kind of turned my paint pink. So I like it still. It was, it's really unique. And it's, it's kind of like got little speckles of pink. So it's really pretty. It just didn't work out the way I had planned. 
but again I mean I just love these flowers and how they look and the ribbons and so I've been holding on to these for a long time and another um, one that I covered with pink paper and then put the uh, pink and white flowers on and I will definitely be sharing these with in some uh, racks and things that I do and you know but I just thought they were so pretty and I wanted to share them with everybody and I wanted to uh, thank Irene for the inspiration and um, you know and send you know when she sends stuff you know making it look so pretty because it encouraged me to try to do the same when I send things out to even if they're just just a little small thing I want to try to make it look as pretty as possible and I hope that these give me a little heads up when it comes to making my packages look pretty because I wrap horribly so I hope you guys like this if you do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below let me know which one is your favorite I'd, I'm curious as to which one would be your favorite so in, in the comment box below um, let me know which one's your favorite. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.